what I've talked about so far, those four dimensions, all of them have a connection with the environment. If you're talking about Taha Wairua, uh, the environment is a critical factor, and that includes the land, and it includes the rivers and sky, and um, particularly for Maori, that's why we talk about our, according to the river they come from or the mountain they belong to. So that's an integral part of Wairua. And when you think about um, Taha Fano, uh, what often binds the Fano even stronger than they are is their connection to land. They have a common connection to land. So if that land is not thriving, there's something not right for the Fano as well. The land feeds us, the land nurtures us, the land provides what we want. So land is an absolutely critical part of that dimension, but also a part of Hiningaro as well. So that knowing the land, knowing what's fertile land, knowing where the land is being threatened, knowing the history of land, which is all part of Taha Hiningaro, it's really important for well-being. So land is a critical component of all four dimensions, as is the rivers, as is the sky.